my osteoarthritis pain is, is getting worse. I'm having trouble sleeping, let alone being active. Are there any medications I could be taking for this? If your pain gets worse, you could consider trying a regular dosage of acetaminophen, what we often call Tylenol. The safest one to start with is Tylenol Arthritis Pain Formula. It's an extended release formula which works over eight hours and it's usually more effective than regular or extra strength Tylenol which works over only four hours. Acetaminophen is usually well tolerated by most people and not usually contraindicated with other medications. Be sure you do not take more than the recommended daily maximum dose and speak to your pharmacist if you have any other questions. Um, okay, but, but are there uh, like any creams or ointments or something that I could be putting on it? Well, creams, gels, and ointments, these are all known as topicals, and they can be very effective in managing osteoarthritis pain. Topicals usually contain herbs such as menthol or cannabis or some other kind of medication. Topicals are usually most effective for joint pain, which is close to the skin surface, such as in your fingers or in your knee. You should apply the topicals three times a day and try doing this for several weeks before you decide whether it works for you. Also remember to wash your hands after applying a topical. Okay, so it sounds like I should be taking this Tylenol arthritis and using one of these creams, but sometimes it gets really, really aggravated. Is there something stronger I could take then? Well, when you have flare-ups, you can consider using an NSAID, which is an acronym for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. Um, some examples are ibuprofen, which is known as Advil, or naproxen, which is known as Aleve. NSAIDs and Tylenol can be safely taken together. However, NSAIDs should not be used regularly because they do have a lot of side effects. Some people cannot take this form of medication depending on their medical history. For example, if you already take aspirin or you have heart problems, diabetes, kidney disease, or other medical issues, you should definitely speak with your doctor or pharmacist about whether this kind of medication could work for you. Okay. Uh, what about cannabis? I'm hearing more and more about how that's useful for pain. Well, the research around prescribing cannabis is limited, although it is growing. For osteoarthritis pain, consider using an ointment that has cannabis in it. This would not have a psychoactive effect, and it would be applied just the same as any other topical. And if this does not work for you, then you can consider either ingesting or vaporizing. Ingesting can take several hours to have effect, whereas vaporizing will have an effect within minutes. Smoking is not recommended, however, because it is toxic to the lungs. For pain management, choose a cannabis that is high in the cannabinoid CBD, which is non-psychoactive, and low in the cannabinoid THC, which is psychoactive. Okay, but I hear that some people actually take narcotics for arthritis pain. Is this common? A narcotic may be considered for osteoarthritis pain when a person has already tried the maximum dose of other pain management medications and is still having poor pain control. Tramadol is often tried first because it's mild and typically well tolerated. But often by this point, people are already considering joint replacement surgery, so a prescribed narcotic would be used to help them get to their surgery day. 